And then. This brings us to. <laughs> we go to a bridge. It's last night, we were told. A camera crew came with a mobster and his buddy to this bridge. And they're looking down at the water below. And Tony D is pondering a gold watch. And pondering an empty jacket no one's wearing. He says, you made a move for my chair. You broke my heart. Now he's sleeping with the fishes. And he throws the watch into the river or the lake or wherever the hell they are. So yes, in storyline, is it two dimes or stacks? It's two dimes. Tony D whacked two dimes. He's dead. Gone. He's on ice. He's dead. But you know what, Vinny? Yes. When they fired two dimes, they told him, lay low for a year. And maybe we'll bring you back. You know what gimmick has never been done in wrestling? Your gimmick. Zombie mobster. No, Vinny. Hmm. He's got to come out of this fucking river and pull a fish out of his I see. tights. I'd rather see a zombie mobster. I mean, that'd be... That'd be My s- gimmick did not get me over. <laughs> yeah, it did. You were way more over as Vinny V yeah. than you ever were as Shoulders Torelli. Yes, I, I don't know, man. Shoulders Torelli. I don't like thinking my career was successful. At least we could have called you sh- Shoulders Tortellini. You could have been like an Italian cook. Everyone thought I was Italian anyway. Man, you and the chef together... The chef and Italian tortellini. Or wait, Vinny tortellini. Anyway, at this point, Santos calls Tony on the phone. Okay. <laughs> I hope you were taking notes, because oh. I was just still uh, gobsmacked that two yeah. dimes had been killed. Murdered. Murder yes. is in canon, a part of NXT storylines now. Yeah. And no one cares. No ram for no well, ram other, for that other bloke, the the legitimate guy that was uh, he got he got killed in storyline too. Remember he was hanging out with uh, D'Angelo. Uh, Santos kidnapped him. We never saw him again. He was killed. Was he killed? That was the impression we were given. Oh, that's sad. He was chopped into pieces. I'm pretty sure they said. Wow. Yeah, I'm you'd, pretty sure they said that. You would think I'd remember this? <laughs> well, they said it in a way where you know it was a euphemism. I see. You know. So, Tony says this guy sleeps with the fishes. He throws the watch away. At this point, Tony D'Angelo's phone ring. It's his phone. It's in his jacket pocket. It's his property. He pulls it out. We can hear Santos on the other end mocking him. Somehow, Santos knew exactly when this guy would have thrown the watch in the river. He is mocking Tony D for losing the championship match last week. And Tony D'Angelo is so angry, he throws his own phone into the water. What a dumb mobster. And so Tony and his friend Stax is the one who's left. They hang their holders and they sulk and they slump off into the night. What a sad mobster. This all happened, everyone. I'm not exaggerating any of this. No. And Vinny is driven all the way here and his camera's not working. Oh, cool. Classic. It's pointing at the back of the TV. Oh, Riveting. right. Yep. We go that way. Uh, nope. Uh, wrong way, bro. 180 degrees oh, the wrong way. Oh. Yep. We don't need two cameras on me. Hey, hey, there he is. By the way, you need a good nose hair trimming. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.